What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another SnowRunner video. I hope everyone's having a good day today. So uh, today we are doing the Square Body K Classic, the Superchargers version. There's three variants of it. Uh, one's a twin turbo, supercharged, and then a diesel version. So we're going to go with this. And before we get into this video, I just wanted to say Happy Halloween, everyone, because this video is going to be coming out on Halloween. I, it feels weird, though, because I'm making it in a week in advance, so it kind of feels like time traveling, but <laughs> I digress. So uh, we are also on TNB trails, but the snow version of it. So we're going to do a snow build on this thing. But we'll go through all the upgrades. So uh, also get a snack and a drink before we start this video because it's probably going to be about 15 minutes or so. That if I had to guess. So we got heavy tow and haul spec uh, motors. Let's see. Stockish. I think I'm just going to do the heavy tow and haul because it'll give us more power. Then for the gearbox, we'll do low and slow crawler because we're going to be going up into the snow, so we'll need the low gears for that. And then we are going to do suspension. Let's see. Don't want it super tall. Trail, trail scout stage one. I think I'll go with this one. I mean, you already know what size tires we're putting on this thing. 49s. We're going to need all the tire we can get. So this is uh, like my second time using this truck. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's put snow tires. Yeah, so I'm not going to go through and say all these tire options because there's just way too many. But yeah, this is uh, quite a few options. But I'm going to do the 49s. Uh, stockish so it's not too overpowered and you got two options of winch which we'll just leave the one that has on there diff lock roof configuration so classic roll bar inside full cage to, uh, there we go so to get full and half cage you have to get the lower support bed cage so we'll do a full cage on this and then we'll just leave all this how it is because I want to do this kind of realistic. Since we're going to be in the snow, we're going to want a roof so we can keep our uh, heat in. Diesel engine, diesel light exhaust. We'll just leave that as it is too. Put the Pinto hitch on here. I'm not really sure what these are, but... I'll just leave it that the way it is. Folding rear seat so you can fold the seat inside there, which is pretty cool. And you can change the steering wheel, which I'll keep it stock. And then bumpers. That bumper's pretty sick. Probably go with... So the, back, the rear bumper, I'm going to do the tube bumper that wraps around. Just in case we uh, slam down some rocks. And I'll go with this one. It looks cool. And then, so yeah, I have all these options. I'm going to do, let's see, right port curve, low profile. I'll just do a low profile, profile. So like if you're doing like a summer build, this would be a sick, on the other, like regular TMB trails map. Fit in real well. Fender mounted snorkel. So I'll do that. Spare tire. Oh, and then you can add all a uh, bunch of fuel and stuff, but I'm not going to do it because I have developer tools. And damage control. Yeah, so you can basically make it invincible, which I'm not going to do. And then I'll probably just leave this stock too because I like the look of it personally. And it's got 
bunch of wheel options, uh, rim options too, so that's good. Go through all these so you guys can take a look at them. So I have used this truck before just to kind of test it out, and I would definitely highly recommend getting it because it's pretty sweet, not going to lie. Then you got a bunch of color options for this thing. That one's pretty sick. And then you got these, uh, oh, that's cool. Like worn paint. Let's see what all the way to the bottom here. Nice. It's pretty cool. Oh, that one. Look at that paint. That's tempting, but I'm going to go with uh, paint color at the top. Let's see here. This one, I just like this paint scheme. Looks really good in real life, too. So I think that's it. I can do the bobblehead and stuff. But let's throw... Uh, Inclement, inclin, not, inclinometer. <laughs> Can't even say that word. That's funny. Well, all right. There's our tow setup. So yeah, diff locks on all the time, which is nice. And then I'm gonna flex this thing out for you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see. Put it in drive. Low. Oops, I guess we're flexing out to the back. So it flexes out pretty good. I'm not happy with that though. Let's try this again. That's about max right there. Oh, you can uh, open the windows and stuff too. The back window. Uh, doors, windows. Which I'll leave down because in real life I like having my windows down when I'm snow wheeling. You can open the hood. Look at that motor in there. Alright, let's go uh, tow this thing up to the trail. I would just drive it there, but it's kind of far and uh, this thing's not very fast. I mean, in high it's pretty fast, but... Oh, stop. Whew. As you can see, it's pretty fast in high, but in auto it's not fast. Get this thing towed or pulled up on here. Oh, that's kind of slick. The only thing with this setup I have on this truck right now, especially with the wheels being so big, is that's top heavy, so it wants to flip pretty easily. And I'm actually going to back up a little bit because, oh yeah, we'll talk about this truck in a minute, but I'm gonna back up away from these houses a little bit. To make the camera all weird. No, don't go off. Oh, oh well. I'm gonna have to compare this map to the other, like original version of this map without the snow, to see if the snow actually affects, uh, like traction. Put the ramps up. Pack this thing down. That'll be interesting to see. Alright, see how this thing tows? This is the first time I've used this. This is the 2020 Denali. So this truck will not be on console. I'm on PC right now. This map is on console though. Played it on my Xbox. Look at this setup though. This is sweet. This map is cool too. I don't know if they did this on purpose or not, but it seems like uh, the higher you go up, the more snow and the deeper it gets. 
like when you get to the top of the peaks of these like mountains and stuff, it's super deep. So this truck doesn't seem too overpowered. Tony. Feels perfect. Let's see how it goes up to a lot of the trucks like to pop wheelies. Oh, not bad. Happy with that. Oh, drifting the trailer a little bit. We need snow tires on the trailer, apparently. Uh oh. The sounds are a little interesting on this truck. It sounds good, but the... The whistle on the turbo is kind of interesting. And I'm not a big fan of the stack, but I didn't really see in the upgrade menu if you could uh, take it off or not. So this is where we're going to park. Because I uh, don't want to get this truck trailer high centered on these snow banks. Except the e-brakes stop rolling, that would be probably good. All right, let's get this thing unloaded. So where I want to go is up this road across this bridge a little ways. Let's see, put this in low, just watch this thing eat this snow. I think I'm gonna make this the thumbnail actually. Let me know down in the comments uh, below, if you're on PC and you play this, how do you get this, uh, what's it called, this developer mod menu off? That would be nice. I, actually, I like the free camera though, it's pretty cool, so you can do this. Yeah, I'll make this a thumbnail. Probably crop that out. All right, let's get on the way. Look at this, though. This, is, this game never ceases to impress me. It's awesome. And this map just looks beautiful with the snow on it. Let me know if you guys also have uh, played on the TMB, uh, not snow map, the regular. TMB uh, map. Oops, hit that kind of hard. Oh, that one's like frozen. Because the original map is pretty sick too. This video might be a little longer than 15 minutes. That's alright though. It's, it'll be worth it. Make sure you stay till the end because the snow gets gnarly. As you can see, like up across the way, it gets a lot of snow on the mountain. It's pretty interesting too because when you get up into the trails that have snow on them, you can't really tell where the trail is. So you kind of have to like guess or make your own trail. Which like right now, I'm not even. The trail's up here on the left somewhere, and I, I don't know if I'm. I, I think I'm at it right here. So look. Oh, it's up a little more. See, it's hard to tell. Tail. <laughs> tail. There's the trail. That one doesn't have snow on it. Man, I've been on the original map and this map so much, and I still haven't explored all of it. Yeah, this one. And then watch this if you put it in high. Oh, it will go right here, but in some spots it'll just spin like in real life. This is so awesome, though. I love this. Yeah, this setup is perfect, though. This build. My wife is on her, uh, break right now for work so I'm trying to text and drive at the same time. Actually I gotta see if yep, I think we take a right. Stump there though. 
Just look at this though, the way the snow deforms. It's pretty realistic, I'm not gonna lie. And the mod developer of this rig did a really good job too. So shout out to him or her. Driving with one hand, so I keep hitting the e brake. So let's just go up and or down this and up it without flipping. Just the way that it, these vehicles crawl through the snow is just freaking awesome. A buddy of mine in high school had a blazer like this. I was on 44s and we would take it up to the snow all the time. And it performed about the same. Not gonna lie. Like just going off trail is just... I don't know I'm gonna say that like 15,000 times on this. On this video, but it's just so awesome. Oh, there we go. Oh, luckily we slid down otherwise I would have flipped. So if I keep going, yeah, let's keep going straight. So if you made it this far into the video, uh, keyword's going to be snow wheeling. And also I hope everyone has a uh, good Halloween and stay safe out there. I'm trying to get to this section of this uh, map that has just snow covering the trail. I'm trying not to make the video too long so I could spend hours doing this. Super fun with a friend too if you play multiplayer, go up here and go together. If go to the left a little. This part's kind of weird because it's pure rock rolling. I think I'll be fine if I just take this line with these wheels. Put it low, let's see what happens. Come on. Low two, maybe. Huh. Getting hung up on that bumper back. Oh, great. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's repair that. That is nice with the development menu up though. That way it's more aesthetically pleasing. I'm just gonna winch up this. I don't wanna waste all our time going up this. Because believe it or not, this is not the cool part. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Whew. Definitely would roll over. That's the thing about these trails on this map too, with these uh, rocks, the tiny rocks that move. It makes you spin sideways all the time. Let's see if I can just crawl up this rock. If I go at an angle, it might flip me. Come on, you can do it. It wants to. Let's just switch it. I'm pretty sure this stuff is more slick with snow. Usually those big tires would have no issues with going over stuff like this. Alright, here's the end of the trail with the without snow. I guess we're going in the snow. <laughs> See, like that, you're getting a lot of wheel spin and high. See, it makes you like stop in your tracks, but as soon as you put it in like low two, per se, it just 
and boost, no problem. So that's really realistic because that's how it is in real snow too. Oh. So keep in mind that these tires are 49s, okay? And that back one is just completely almost just swallowed right there. That's insane. Let's see this side. Like some of it's sinking into the mud too, but it's just like that back left one on the driver's side. Am I getting hung up? I have to bump this a little. Am I high centered right now? Come on. Yeah. Huh. Take a different angle at this. So you can see my trail from uh, last time I played this because I took this up this far. So uh, we're getting pretty high up on time. I, If you guys want to see more of this video uh, or see me crawling up farther on this trail, let me know. And I'm going to end this video here. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good rest of your day.